Hello, Nancy Jean Mirrelis here, welcoming you to the webinar today. Hi, Sarah. Just see and welcome to everybody who's dropping onto the call. Um, thank you for taking time out of your day to connect with me and hear about um, what I'm up to. <laughs> and I am super excited about my next chakra retreat. It's this summer from the 13th through the 18th of July in Normandy, France, and we're going to have this beautiful retreat center to ourselves. And so welcome, welcome to the journey. And if you, a chakra retreat is a very unique opportunity, a unique opportunity to unplug from everyday stress, everyday life, and reconnect with your sacred centers your seven beautiful chakras. And it's such a wonderful explore, exploration of, with an opportunity to really live your chakras. You might have read about them, visualize them, but this is the opportunity to go into each chakra on its own and explore it uh, from a sensate experience, a somatic experience, an energetic ex experience. And it's very, very transformational. And that's the word that people use. Um, I, when I listen, I was listening last night to some testimonies that people recorded during the last retreat. And it was really nice because I hadn't heard them until yesterday. And it was really nice. And the words that I hear over and over again is transformation. And people are surprised. <laughs> They're surprised that they could come to a experience and be able to feel that safe, that comfortable to dive down deep and transform and have a lot of fun doing that. So that is really what I'm about is, you know, the suffering and the stress of our lives, it seems to be so heavy at times. And my experience with healing is when we bring in joy, when we bring in laughter, when we bring in lightness and light and awareness, we're able to go through the healing process swiftly, um, completely, efficiently, lightly. And so the change that people experience becomes lasting change. So welcome to my summer chakra retreat. I'm thrilled to be offering this experience at the Mill Retreat Center in Normandy, France. And again, the dates are from the 13th through the 18th of July. And this is a very special place. It's special because there's 30 acres of grounds. Ten of those acres are the private lake that you see right here. Five of those acres are a nature preserve. And we have this space to ourselves. And what an opportunity to truly, as I say, unplug from ordinary and connect with yourself and experience something extraordinary that you can bring back into your everyday lives. And this is just a beautiful um, riverside view because this is, we have a 10 acre lake. We also have a river that runs right through it and a canal. The retreat center itself was built over a canal. So the energy of chakra two, Svadhisthana chakra and flow, you know, so we're working with the elements in this chakra journey. So we're connecting with earth and nature and flow. And we're gonna have some fire circles. So, and it's summertime, so we're working chakra three and lovely air opening up to the heart center. So we're working with all the elements. And this is a journey, a joyful journey, a joyful journey to your beautiful chakras and exploring each chakra, one chakra at a time, allowing you the opportunity to release what needs to be released, reclaim what needs to be reclaimed and have a deepening awareness of what's happening to you, both on your physical level, you know, in your physical body. What's happening for you energetically? What's happening emotionally? 
and what's happening spiritually with your wisdom and your connection with bliss. And we bring that all together, integrate it into radiant wholeness. And here I am, Nancy G. Miralise, welcoming you to the journey. And I have been working with the chakras for over 30 years. And I came across the chakras after I went through a um, healing crisis, I would say, when I was in my um, early 20s. I was assaulted, which left me with a brain injury. And also, so I had this physical brain injury, but I also had these emotional wounds, not only of that assault, but of other things that impacted my life as well. And I tried so many different modalities at the time, both traditional, non-traditional, to find my way through the layers of pain. And it took me seven years and nothing was working. And then I had that light bulb moment, that light bulb moment where I said, consciousness spoke to me and said, you can heal yourself. And I was like, wow. I just didn't even think about that. I was looking outside of myself. And when I said yes to that, yes, I could heal myself. Then very shortly after that, I um, was sitting with someone and I was sitting speaking to them and I was covering my eyes. And she said to me, she's an uh, a alternative therapist, and she said to me, Nancy, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you sitting there covering your face, covering your eyes? And I said to her, well, you're going to think I'm crazy, but when I'm looking at you, I'm seeing these colors, these shapes. I get a lot of information, and uh, so I'm seeing some smoky, dark energy. I said, I don't know. And she looked at me, and she said, sweetheart, you're just seeing my chakras. And I was like, oh, you're what? <laughs> I had never heard of this word before. Now, this is many years ago. And chakras was not uh, an everyday um, word. So she gave me my first book, my first two books, as a matter of fact, on, on healing. Um, um, Hands of Light. You might know Hands of Light from Barbara Ann Brennan. And she also gave me this book that became my guidebook, which is Personal Power Through Awareness, which was a channeled book. And these two books together ah, put the pieces of the puzzle together for me. And then I began healing my life one chakra at a time. And then, of course, I connected with Anadea Judep, who became not only my friend, teacher, and mentor, and that started me on the path of realizing how effortlessly, joyfully, we can transform our lives connecting with the healing energy within through working with the, the chakras, these, these energy processors. So the chakras from the base of our spine to the crown of our head process our life force. And each chakra processes a different vibrational spectrum of our life experience. So I began this journey of studying and exploring my own chakras. And then from that, I thought, uh, wow, look how quickly I healed my life just by connecting with my chakras. I lived in seven, for seven years in physical and emotional energetic pain. And then when I opened to healing through the chakras, I had a map for wholeness. And that map led me to swiftly shifting and transforming my life. So then I had that second light bulb moment that said, wow, I need to share this with others because no one needs to suffer for years and years and years. And so I began my uh, what I call sacred soul evolution, which is bringing modalities together that resonated for me. And I'm always opening and discovering new modalities. And I call it sacred soul evolution because I see the chakras as the sacred architecture of the soul. And I see our healing paths as evolutionary paths to wholeness. So I, 
I just, I'm passionate. And that is my, my passion. My life's work is sharing healing possibilities. And you may have heard me say in the past, and I say it a lot that healing happens in a heartbeat. And, um, I love, um, facilitating that, witnessing that, guiding that. And, um, that's, that's, that is my life's work. And I'm just so happy to share it in a retreat environment, allowing us to come together. You know, we're, and people are coming together from all over the globe where we're meeting in this beautiful retreat center in France, creating sacred space. And the magic that happens when we come together, allowing ourselves to be seen, to see others, and share this journey. And I cannot tell you how joyful it is, um, not only for myself, but for everybody who comes. What I hear over and over again is just how much joy. And that just uh, lights me up when people come. And some people just are coming because they just need to recharge. You know, some people are coming because they want to find a way to, to clear the past trauma. Some people are coming because, you know, for, for many, many different reasons. Some people have physical illnesses they're trying to overcome or relationships they're trying to overcome or they're trying to find their life's purpose. What there's, you know, there, whatever reasons people come, they come together. And seeing people be able to shift, transform, and, and connect with who they are from the deepest part of who they are is incredibly um, humbling, and I'm very grateful for that experience. And I'm also a long-term yoga practitioner. I started doing yoga when I was 18, and I remember my first yoga class. <laughs> it was uh, taught on, we didn't have yoga mats then. Um, we had um, um, beach towels. <laughs> And my yoga teacher was this amazing hippie um, girl, and she was, she was, as a yoga teacher, I still hear her voice because that first class, I knew my whole life was changing because my body just said yes. So I've been a yoga teacher for a long time. I'm a, a uh, integrative yoga teacher where we see yoga as therapy and the the yoga that we're that is offered in the retreats is just a very gentle flow yoga so it doesn't matter if this is your first yoga class or if you're a yoga teacher we're coming to connect with yoga as a way to deepen our connection with the chakras so it's just really beautiful and gentle and, is, and um, you know, it's lovely when, um, you know, we have first time people who haven't done yoga before come to the retreat and really embrace it. I had a gentleman come last year and he was just absolutely wonderful. And he came in his plus fours, which are these sort of like Scottish short trousers. And uh, he had never done yoga before. And I got a beautiful, beautiful email from him before my last retreat in April, where he said, I wanted to thank you for the transformation I experienced. He says, my tears of grief have become tears of happiness. And as soon as he left that retreat, he started practicing yoga with his niece. <laughs> And so I'm sure he's got yoga pants now, but so th I love yoga. Actually, you know, the, the chakras come from the uh, yogic tradition and I love movement. So I, I studied and became a dance kinetics teacher, which has changed your name to let your yoga dance. And basically that's a chakra based um, yoga dance movement. Absolutely joyful. And I work as a, a evolutionary vibrational um, energy healer as well. And I teach online courses for, in, for the chakras um, and manifestation. And I'll be shortly starting a new course on becoming a peacemaker. 
So that's a little bit about myself. And so, you know, a chakra retreat is really for everybody and every body. If you just want to, you know, unplug from stress and recharge your batteries, this is a perfect thing to do. I love connecting with the chakras again and again and again because each time I go into the journey, I go deeper and I leave with a deeper sense of wholeness. So people come just to unplug from everyday stress, just to have an energetic reset of body, mind, and soul. And this is also an opportunity to learn a new way to release blocked energy, stagnant energy. If you feel stuck in a particular aspect of your life, and you haven't been able to move forward, you're going to learn tools that's going to help you put, release that, let go and move forward, embrace, embrace your true self. And if there's trauma there, if you've experienced some trauma in your past, and we all have, that there's a, a, a somatic way that we can supportively release that. So this is an opportunity to truly reclaim your power, your energy, your ground, your passion, your pleasure, your love, your expression. You can reclaim your intuition, your insights, and your connection with your ever-deepening consciousness. And again, if you just simply want to reconnect with yourself, tune into your chakras and have fun, this is a perfect opportunity to do that. And here is just a beautiful image of the seven sacred centers, the chakras. Now, the chakras run from the base of your spine to the crown of your head and represent, each chakra represents a different aspect of our life a different energetic aspect of our life. And this opportunity to take time out and plug into your chakras is an opportunity to find your balance in all the different parts of yourself and integrate that. So in chakra one, which is my favorite chakra, is where we start at the base of your spine, Muladhara Chakra, and that's the red symbol there. And Chakra 1 is where we connect with our body. We connect with nature and we get grounded. And it's my experience that most people are ungrounded. And when you think about how busy our lives are, how distracted we are, how, how connected we are with our devices, that we get off our ground. And without that connection with our true ground, you know, if something happens in our lives, it can just, we can sort of just get pushed aside or collapse or, or feel that energetic experience to be painful or negative. But if we're grounded and we feel the support from earth, we have this inner stability that allows us to have this resilience. And the resilience means we have that ability to spring back to center with more ease, more effortlessly. So chakra one is where we connect with ground and nature and our body. It's also issues of livelihood, of home, of family and ancestry. So a lot of people I connect with have had Early childhood traumas, either a birth trauma or maybe there was an issue when during your, when you're in utero, or early childhood trauma if there was anything that was massive life changing, like a, a health issue, hospitalizations, divorce, all of these things impact us in chakra one. So when we connect with chakra one, it's taking time to reweave a connection with ground, reweave a connection with that inner stability. And it's essential to have that ground. If you've had trouble manifesting in your life, one problem could be that you're not connected here with chakra one because it's essential to have that foundational chakra, to have that ground in order to manifest. 
And chakra two, center the pelvis, the sacral chakra, Svadhisthana chakra. And that's where we deal with our feelings, our sensate experiences from the outside world that come in. So chakra two is where we open to sensations. The outside world comes in as sensations that then become feelings, that then become our emotions. So here we're dealing with the realm of our emotions, our ability to move, our ability to flow in life. And our ability to move not only our physical body, but that's important too. Like how do you move your physical body? How do your hips move? How do your feet move? How do your, your knees move? You know, how do your shoulders, elbows, neck, how do you move? But how do you move your energy? How do you flow with your emotions? So this is where we connect with both your, your inner flow, your emotions, your passions, sexuality, sensuality. And yes, just when you think about emotions, sexuality, all of these issues, movement, there, this is an area where most people will have some sort of issue around that. So this is a beautiful opportunity to reclaim your flow. And your flow is just right for you. So when people say, oh, just go with the flow, this is the opportunity to explore what is your flow, right? What's the flow that's right for you? And then the energy rises up naturally as we go from chakra to chakra. It's essential that we start here with root chakra and let the energy flow to second chakra. And then it flows up to third chakra, that golden symbol right in the center of the solar plexus. And this is your power center. This is where transformation happens. Or we metabolize. We metabolize our food into energy. We metabolize our emotions. So we're metabolizing on the physical. We're metabolizing on the energetic. We're metabolizing mentally. We're metabolizing emotionally. We're metabolizing spiritually. So how do you transform in your life? Are you able to embrace change? Do you feel empowered? Do you feel confidence? How is your self-esteem? And this is a big one, too. How playful are you? Are you able to play? Are you able to laugh? Can joy be your healing path? So chakra three, as we connect with all the different aspects of power, vitality, confidence, It's also where we allow the emotional intelligence that we connect with in chakra two to inform our will. So the actions that we take align, align with our upper consciousness. So when our actions and our activities are in line with our, our vision for ourselves, our life's purpose, our highest potential, things happen with more ease. So chakra three, Manipur chakra. And then that's our fire, you know, and I'm so excited that in the summer retreat, we have the opportunity to have this outdoor fire circle and it's where the river and the canal meet. So it's summertime. So we're going to have fire fire circles in the evening and we're going to reclaim power using the energy of fire so really happy that we have that opportunity and that energy that fire naturally rises up to the heart center and that's on a hatha chakra and we connect with love and compassion compassion we use the word a lot and we can be deeply compassionate towards others, but we can be incredibly judgmental, harsh, and critical of ourselves. And compassion is clarity plus warmth. So here we are able to explore that compassion for ourselves. 
And chakra four, Anahata chakra, is, as you can see, it's just in the middle of the chakra system right here. And so it's where we integrate. So the upper chakras meet in the heart, the, the lower chakras rise up. So it's where the upper and lower chakras meet. And it's where we find balance and integration, balance within our own energy body and both also balance in our life. So we're going to work with how do we balance all the different parts of our lives. And the energy just naturally rises up to the center of the throat, Visuddha chakra, throat chakra, where we connect with your, connect with your ability to express. So chakra two, if you remember what me saying is where the outside world comes in chakra five is where the inside world comes out so how are you able to express yourself communicate how do you speak and hear or hear and speak your truth and there's great freedom here when we release what holds the energy from being shared so a lot of people have a contraction within their own energetic experience which means the inner channel of energy is quite contracted and tight and this is an opportunity to release that allow that channel of energy to expand and we experience more freedom more flow and the energy rises up to seven six chakra and that is seen as a symbol of indigo blue light. And it's where we connect with our inner vision and our outer vision. So our physical sight and also our insight. And this is, the, this is a command center. Because the pictures we hold in our mind's eye create our future. So what are the pictures that you're holding in your mind's eye? Are they aligned with what it is that you want to manifest in this life? Do those pictures in your mind's eye reflect your intention? Or are you playing memories and pictures of some past event that just is limiting you and holding you back and identifying you as something that you are not? So here, we are clearing away the veils. So we can have clear scene. We're re letting go of illusion. Powerful, powerful center. And that takes us to the crown chakra. Sahasrara chakra. The thousand petaled lotus where we open to infinite levels of consciousness consciousness known and unknown so it's where we open up to our limitless divine self we connect with our knowledge intellect spirituality and as i said consciousness itself so that's just a very brief overview of the sacred centers these energy processors and while the chakras are not physical they they are, they're formed where the mind and body meet. And so while they're not physical, they do impact the physical body. So we can explore them working with the body and bringing greater awareness to our energetic experience. And so this summer chakra retreat is about gentle yoga, healing, and fun. And I find that to be a very powerful combination for transformation. And so on this journey, we start off, if you choose to, you can, you can arrive um, from London. Some people are meeting me in London where I've hired a private mini van, mini bus, to pick us up at Euston Station and drive us. It's just a five-hour drive <laughs> from London to the retreat center. So we're having a chakra road trip. So we arrive in the evening where we'll have a meal waiting for us, and we'll have a gentle session that evening. And then we're going to have four days of chakra immersion. 
And each day we have gentle yoga to start the day with. There's also beautiful guided trance journeys to take you into guided visualization for each chakra. And then we connect with the body through bioenergetic exercises. These are simple, subtle, powerful somatic experiences allowing you to connect deeply and learn skills. So if you're one, ch- if you have a chakra and it needs more energy, you're going to learn practices so you can energize that chakra on the physical level. If that chakra has a lot of energy, we're going to teach you ways where you can release or discharge that energy if that because that extra energy might be causing a block so you're going to learn all about energy and charge and discharge and i love working also with mudra which are the beautiful hand gestures and i have 108 mudras and so pretty much if there's any physical Uh, ailment or emotional state, energetic state, there's the mudra that's going to support you. And you'll come away with learning at least seven mudras that you're going to know inside and out, one for each chakra. And so you're going to really have some powerful tools. And the mudras, while they're very simple and subtle, they are extremely powerful and potent And I just absolutely love working with mudra. And then I have so many what I call experiential practices. So for each chakra, I've got lots and lots of practices that we can share together. And I pretty much wait until the circle has come together. And um, and then based on who's there and what's happening for the group, we can do all sorts of things for each chakra. I call it like the chakra buffet because I just have so many different offerings. And yes, it's summertime. So we're going to embrace nature and connect with the elements. We're also going to work with movement. So we're going to do some dancing. We're going to work with some drawing. We're going to work with journaling and partner exercises. And there's just so many of them. And I've come up with some even new ones that I'm going to be sharing. So there's lots of different ways in. Because each person is going to say, oh, I can, I can connect with my chakras in this way. Some people will work with sound when we do a, a mantra practice. Some people will, will connect more with their yoga practice. Some people love, I have to say, most people love the guided trance journeys and they ask for those for each chakra so you'll you'll find out which feels just right for you for you to access the information and the energy of each chakra so i offer the buffet so everybody can explore different doorways in and there's plenty of time to relax reflect enjoy the beauty of the mill retreat center And we'll have some group walks. And we might even have a half a day journey into a local village, um, just putting that together. And that's going to be an optional um, experience if people are open for that. And I'm really excited because, as I said, I have a beautiful fire circle. So we can do some evening um, work around the fire. And every day we come together and do heart-centered circle sharing. And I find this to be a very important aspect of coming together in a retreat environment. So uh, altogether, it's very, very rich and lots of opportunity for you to explore. And here is a, um, just a quote from somebody, uh, Lisa who joined last July's retreat and the spring's retreat. And her words are, Nancy's retreat has been fantastic. Her playful way of conducting the course made it interesting. As we as a group participated with fun and curiosity, Nancy's openness, sense of humor, but also her deep knowledge, her storytelling and trust made us laugh and cry. I've been on many retreats in my life, but never laughed so much. Thank you so much for these wonderful five days on your course. So, yeah, that was beautiful. And and on my website, you could probably watch lots of videos where people are sharing their journey. 
Now, at the Mill Retreat Center in Normandy, we're going to have our own private chef, and we'll have three vegetarian meals a day. We're creating the menu. It's going to be a summer-based organic menu of just fresh veg prepared in a wholesome, healthy way. So it's a beautiful opportunity to have somebody, you know, who's cooking with love and intention support you. And I just love this part of the retreat where the food is so nurturing, nourishing, and the vibrancy of having all organic foods is just um, amazing. So there's vegetarian meals, and but if you are vegan or you have any dietary requirements, you let me know in advance and I'll do my very best to accommodate you. And here's just some lovely pictures of people that have come together. And these people, they've just met on the retreat, but you can see the joy and the connection um, that they, or you could see it in their faces. And it's absolutely beautiful witnessing. And it's really nice because I just had Facebook, saw some posts on Facebook on a Thursday of, of people that have come together from the retreat came together in London. So the friendships that people create and connect with on the retreats become lasting friendships. And I, I absolutely love that. And here's just a few pictures of the mill itself. You can see on the left-hand side, that's the mill. And you can see on just on the left, there's the canal. And that canal runs right underneath the mill. So talk about flow. <laughs> and on the upper right-hand side is the space. We'll be doing yoga and having most of our sessions. And just look at that beautiful space with light flowing in, beautiful high ceilings. And it just looks like a beautiful space for us to do our deeper work together. And this is just an image on the, the bottom right of our, our, our dining table. And as I said, there's, there's plenty of time. We have a nice long break in the afternoon during lunch after from from I think it's from 12:30 to 3 p.m. so there's plenty of time to have a lovely lunch rest take a walk read a book journal dip your toes in the water there are bikes there so if you want to there's you can bike around the the grounds and there's even a little rowboat in the in for the lake so there's plenty of plenty to do and here's that fire circle you've heard me talk about. I'm so excited about that. But look where it is. It's right where the, the river breaks and becomes one side is the river, one side is the canal. And I just think that's a great place to have this fire circle. So we will definitely have two evenings around the fire. And depending on the group, if people want to, we can have four nights where we're connecting around the fire and of course that will depend on how people feel the energy and the weather um, so but I think that's a beautiful beautiful opportunity hammocks there really lots of places just saying yes come and rest here and there's the minibus so the minibus is from the retreat center and this is just something just making the travel to the center effortless you know I usually have to drive quite a bit and here I'm just going to show up at Houston station and meet you welcome you and we're going to have a road trip a chakra road trip get to know each other even before we step into the retreat center and I just absolutely love that and it's I think it's a great value it's 85 pounds round trip from Houston so it's going to pick us up we're going to meet at 11 a.m. So what the, and the the bus will pick us up at midday, but we're going to meet at 11. So we're ready to go. And then we're going to be back. That's on the 13th. And on the 18th, we leave at 11 a.m. from France. And we're, we arrive back in Houston for 5 p.m. And whatever your travel um, 
is please let me know so I can help you in any way I can. Some people are going to be traveling from uh, right to, to Paris and then taking a train. It's one hour train ride to the nearest station. Um, that's very close to the retreat center, so we can arrange to have a cab pick you up. And so you can fly into Charles de Gaulle, and from um, Paris Nord, you can take a train for one hour, and I can get you all that information. And so everybody's going to have their own single accommodation. And it's just cozy, comfortable, simple, lovely accommodations, soft, beautiful bedding. I don't think we're going to, they have down to comforters, but I'm not sure in July we're going to need those. Um, but they're available. And we also have two gypsy caravans. So if you guys, if anybody wants to spend a night or two or the entire time in the gypsy caravan, you're welcome to. And I don't know if anyone's ever slept in a gypsy caravan before, but they're incredibly comfortable. And um, I stayed in one in Scotland, and I was there for four nights. And I just had such a lovely rest. And it was really wonderful. And this one is right near the canal, so you'll have the water flowing right by. But that is totally optional. Uh, and again, if somebody wanted to just have a night there and the rest of the time in, in, in one of the single rooms, that's absolutely perfect too. I can arrange that. And as I said, there's lots to do. There's electric bikes. There's just regular bikes. There's tandem bikes for you to use. There's a little boat. Um, if you, at, you know, to take out onto the lake, if you're comfortable doing that, um, there's, you know, quiet time, there's beautiful gardens. So it's just a beautiful, natural, peaceful place. And this year's retreat was, it's priced at 675, so 675 pounds. But if you book on, if you book with me, you can get that for 600 pounds. So send me an email and I can arrange for that. And um, so that's 75 pounds off. So it's 600 pounds and that includes the five nights accommodation, all the meals and the four day chakra immersion course. I think that's a really great value and so really excited. And the only additional cost is for your travel if you're coming with me on the bus, which is 85 pounds. And so to reserve your space, you can either go to my website and you can just, um, there's options there for you to, you could you pay via PayPal, which takes different credit cards. Or if you're in the UK, you can connect me directly and I can give you my bank details. Um, but you go to yourbeautifulchakras.com. That's my website, yourbeautifulchakras.com. And to go to the French retreat, it's forward slash France retreat. And if you want to connect with me, please do send me an email. If you have any questions at nancy at yourbeautifulchakras.com. So nancy at yourbeautifulchakras.com. And, um, or you can send me a, a private message on Facebook. And if you'd like to, there's options. You know, if you want a 30 minute or 15 minute um, phone call with me, we can arrange that. I can answer any of your questions. So I'm here to support you. And um, so excited because it feels that once people say yes, and you'll know when it's a yes for you, when if it's a yes, your life will start to transform immediately because when we when you say yes to a retreat, then the universe responds. And so things just have a beautiful way of falling into place. And usually it's my experience that by the time people get to the retreat, they're ready. They've they're ready. The the, the retreat has process has already begun. And then it just becomes a beautiful process of unfolding, connecting, and a joyful process of, of experience, radiant wholeness, working with the energies of your beautiful chakras. 
So I just want to just take a moment here and, uh, you know, really thank everybody who's taken time out of their Sunday to connect with me. And if you have any questions, just raise your hand and I'd be happy to answer any questions about the retreat, any questions about your chakras, um, feel free. And just once again, that the dates, I'll just go to the very beginning so you can see the dates again. Um, are the 13th through the 18th, July 2017. Again, we're, you can either meet me at the retreat center by you know, flying into Paris and catching a train. We have some people that will be flying in and renting a car and making their way to the retreat center. And then some of us are, are traveling together on the Chaka Road Trip and we're just leaving London together on the 13th around midday. And so I'm really looking forward to my road trip. <laughs> so looking forward to that. And again, it's just going to be a wonderful opportunity to connect with your seven sacred centers. And the course price for you today is 600 pounds. That's 75 pounds off. And if you have any questions, just simply send me an email at nancy at your beautiful chakras. And I'm here to support your journey, your chakra journey, which is my life's passion. So I can talk about chakras for, well, days upon days upon days. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, I want to thank you for your time today. And again, if you have any questions, just simply um, connect with me. And there I am. I look forward to sharing a chakra journey with you. And sending you a lot of uh, love and appreciation. Thank you for your time today. Okay. Bye, everyone. Thank you.